a little bit of definition, give them a jawline and so on, just for that little bit of facial features. So to do this, I want to select this whole portion here on the face. And then we're just going to extrude once, right click, and scale down, and then pull it out. And what this allows us to do is then pull these down, pull this out, and we can start getting our facial features. Pull these back. Now, for the, those of you that have really been paying attention uh, when I was talking about edge loops, you may already be noticing something else with how I just extruded that and what it's done for me. Um, like I said, or I may or may not have said in the previous videos, is that edge loops really follow the contours of the muscles. If you've watched some of my other video tutorials, I'm sure you've heard this before, but you really want to try and keep your um, your edge loops following the contours of the muscle and the bone structures. And what do I have here? It's my jawline, such following the, the structure of the face. So that really helps getting the definition. Even on a very basic model um, that doesn't have a lot of definition, you still want to try and keep your mesh nice and clean.